yard work. Okay. With Citibank's pop money, Dan can easily send money by email right from his Citibank account. Nice job, Ben. Well played, Dan. Well played. Citibank pop money. Easier banking. Standard at Citibank. Hi, I'm Lindsay Pollack, career expert and global spokesperson for LinkedIn. In our most recent episode of Get Connected, we were introduced to Cheryl Kellen, CEO and founder of Bia Sports. In her episode, Cheryl inspires women with her message of following your career dreams and raising a family. I was thrown in from day one of my career as a mom trying to build a career for myself. And honestly, it's made me better. So today, we'll be taking your questions on having it all and managing work and family. Connect member Lauren Colston asks, what's your definition of having it all? My answer is that it really depends on how you define it. Does having it all mean work and a family, having your own business, owning your own home? And yes, it absolutely will change over time depending on where your career is, where your life is, where your family is. So allow things to change and allow yourself to redefine your goals and your vision. Here's a question from Rosella Hope. How can you decide when to have your first baby? There are people who will tell you very strongly that you should have your children first and then build a career so you don't have to interrupt it along the way. Then there are people who will tell you to build your career and then have children. I don't think there's any way to have a right answer. I personally knew exactly when I wanted to have children and I ended up having my daughter three years after that. Even the best laid plans may not work out as you intended. So make the best decision you can and things will work out the way they're meant to. Here's a question from Colleen Leahy. What's your advice for business women who just got the news that they're expecting? If your company is more conservative or if you're concerned about the reaction, you might wanna to talk to your HR department about the proper channels and legalities of who you have to tell and when. It's also never too soon in your pregnancy to start thinking about the opportunities that might arise from this situation, whether you might want to have a flexible work arrangement, change your job in some way. It's never too soon to think about these issues and negotiate an arrangement that might advance your career as well as keeping it on track. Sharon Schneider asks, working moms, how do you manage your mornings? Mornings are all about routine. The more you can do the same thing every day and get all of your family members used to that routine, the easier mornings will become. So try to wake up at the same time every day, try to have breakfast set up in the same way, try to have the backpacks by the front door so that everything works like clockwork. Another tip is to wake up about 30 minutes before your kids so you have a little bit of me time to get ready and start your day before the morning chaos begins. Christina Faust asks, my husband says I work too much. How do I know whether or not the time and effort I'm putting into my career now while also raising a child will pay off in the long run? Life is a daily negotiation. If you feel like you're spending a little too much time at work, you might wanna plan a vacation or spend an extra day at home. If you feel like you really need to ramp up and impress your boss, put yourself 100% into your job and do something special on the weekend. It's a personal negotiation and something that you have to think about throughout your career. Having it all is a phrase that you have to define for yourself personally. It can be a challenge to figure out the right balance for you, but once you do, the results can be incredibly rewarding. <laughs>